But Kyle, I got to ask you, bro. Justin Herbert, Derek Carr have been playing lights out football. Mm -hmm. The Raiders are shocking the world, and the Chargers are looking to make a name for themselves. Can this AFC West showdown live up to the hype, and can these quarterbacks put on a show? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when you look at what Justin Herbert was able to do against the Chiefs last week, he was sensational. I remember we were talking about uh, that matchup before it took place. Uh, one of the things that I've always been kind of concerned with with Justin Herbert is that he is turnover prone. He is prone to throwing interceptions, not just one, but multiple interceptions in the games that he plays. But last week in particular against the Chiefs, he really kind of shocked me with how well-rounded he was in that performance against Kansas City. And I do think that he can carry that type of performance into week four against the Raiders. I Granted, the Chargers are at home. They're 2-1, and one, and this is a huge game for them because the Chiefs just won their Sunday matchup against the Eagles, and the Chargers are looking at this situation like, okay, if we win this game, we're essentially at the top of the AFC West when I don't think anybody was expecting that because I think everybody was expecting that Kansas City was just going to roll through this division fairly easily without a lot of competition to work with. I guess people were maybe thinking that the Chargers could give them some sort of a shot but a lot a lot of people were thinking that this was going to be the Chiefs division and that they kind of like focus or really kind of like double down on the not expecting what's taken place so far it's the Las Vegas Raiders and just how effective Derek Carr has been Derek Carr has been one of the best quarterbacks that we've seen this entire year and I gotta be honest with you I didn't see that coming but the Raiders are putting up points against every team that they've played against so far. They scored 33 against the Ravens in week one. They scored 26 on the road against Pittsburgh in week two. They scored 31 uh, at home in week three against the Dolphins. And you're going up against a Chargers team that can give up points. They did give up about 25 points to the Chiefs last week. Granted, they had a decent defensive performance against the Cowboys, but I do think that Derek Carr can't find some exploits in this defense that the Chargers have. So this is going to be a great quarterback matchup. And Kevin, just to kind of kick it to you, um, what do you think the game is going to end up being? Do you see this going in favor of the Raiders or do you see this going in favor of the Chargers? If I'm going to be honest, I have the Chargers solely because of the defensive ability of one player, Dante Samuel Jr., the man has made his presence known all over the field, and he's living up to his father's name. And he is just everywhere, creating havoc with pass deflections, great coverage. I mean, you name it, he's there. I mean, Derwin James on that side of the field as well. I just believe that the overall defensive capabilities of the Chargers is that much better. And, I mean, they're in for a, a big matchup this week. Obviously, uh, Darren Waller. Obviously. Um, Ruggs and uh, Brian Edwards have been playing absolutely out of their mind. Josh Hunter, Jacobs is questionable. Hunter Renfro has been kind of nice for the Raiders. So Hunter Renfro is is like a third down favorite, kind of like a, a younger Wes Welker. I mean, a lot of players are just saying that he is kind of like slept on and he creates separation. He's fast. He's got reliable hands. So he's kind of like, excuse me, more like their Cole Beasley. That's a little bit more comparable because, I mean, Wes Welker was one of the best, if not the best slot receiver in NFL history. Uh, neither here nor there. But, I mean, Justin Herbert's hot. He's coming off of a great division game against Patrick Mahomes. It is a home game for them. Austin Eckler, Mike Williams, and Keenan Allen have been playing very well, and they're healthy right now, knock on wood. I'm not taking away from the Raiders' success. I'm not taking away from the fact that they're in a place that nobody, including myself and you, saw them being in. But... I just think genuinely Justin Herbert's better than Derek, and, and I just think he's got a better arm. I think that offensively they have more weapons, and I think that their defense is playing better than the Raiders is. I mean, I don't know. Again, that's just my opinion, but dude, Asante Samuel Jr. is not. You know I'm a defensive guy. Bro, he's nice. And Derwin James on the side, uh, being back from the torn meniscus last year, bro, that secondary is totally different. Totally different than it was last year. And I love watching them play. Yeah, I'm going to be in agreement with you on this one. 
I just like the way that the Chargers are going right now. You know, they had that big win on the road against KC, where I don't think a lot of people were expecting um, the Chargers to roll in there and to get that win, because I think a lot of people were kind of shocked by the fact that the, the Chiefs had that kind of surprise loss to the Ravens on the road by one point, but then it was even more of a surprising loss that they lost to the Chargers right after that. And it just kind of goes to show that Justin Herbert has taken that second year leap. He is a lot more confident than he was last year, even though I thought last year he's he definitely showed me a lot of flashes that he has a lot of potential uh, in the years coming forward for him. And I just think that he's going to be able to light up this Raiders defense. I don't know why. I don't know why. But Word. I get that same feeling. I don't really have an explanation to it, it but I just I think it's just I think he's gonna get a huge confidence boost a huge confidence boost from that, that Chiefs game that he had. And as long as he doesn't turn the ball over and he's relatively safe with his passes, you know, and as long as he stays efficient, I think the Chargers win this one relatively close. I don't think it's gonna be a blowout either way. I still think that the, that the Raiders have a very good shot to win this game. So that's not to discredit the Raiders in any way, shape, or form. It's just, I'm going with the kid here. Great that I know Derek Carr's had a phenomenal season so far. And it's kind of surprised everybody. But I think they take their first loss of the season. I think they keep it close. But I think the Chargers kind of pull away in the fourth quarter. I think they make the difference. I think they win by about, I think, six or seven points. I think it'll only be a one-position game when it's all said and done. But I'm going to go with the Chargers on this one. And it would be really yeah. cool because, you know, you, you got the Raiders and the Chargers at the top of the AFC West after week four, and nobody saw that coming. Nobody. No, not even not even remotely close. I mean, the fact that, you know, Denver is in the position that they're in as well, but we're not going to get into that game. We just don't have time. I will say the only way that Vegas has a chance is they have to run the ball like they have been all season. Mm-hmm. That means Peyton Barber. That means Kenyon Drake. Josh Jacobs are going to have to be dominant. And uh, I almost said Oakland. Vegas is going to have to move the front four of L.A. in order to establish the line of scrimmage dominance, which is going to create play action and is going to make life a lot easier for Derek Carr in those three to five step drops. And he's going to be able to poke holes like he has been in defenses all season. I mean, for God's sakes, the man has 1,200 yards already and six touchdowns. That is absolutely incredible. So once again, Oakland's got to establish dominance. They have to run the football, and then it'll be a lot closer. And again, I I mean, to be a lot closer than six points is three points, if not a tie game. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I believe that the Rams, excuse me, wow, I saw LA. um, The Chargers are favorited by three. So I wouldn't be surprised. This game literally comes down to the final possession. And first person to have a turnover or at least turnover in the quarter, because I do expect there to be some interceptions thrown just because both defenses have been playing very well. Um, I think the the uh, the most recent turnover, if not the first turnover, will lead to the victory 